feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's in your... Welcome to the shrimp tank Tulsa post show wrap up. I'm here with my uh, co host Matt Hulse, and we have Mike Bannister with with the Culligan of Tulsa. We just got done with another great show. Uh, it's our fourth show now. Fourth episode, already. And uh, we just got finished talking about a lot about business, a lot about water, the future of water, and then probably some of the better uh, reasons why someone's been fired while driving their car that I've ever heard. So before we uh, get out of here, uh, Mike, I want to know what are some of the things that someone should look into uh, before they... Uh, buy or start a business? Well, the first thing is you better have your family support and backing. It's also important if you know uh, the industry, because you can be caught off guard with the industry, and you better have the patience to develop a business. Uh, I'd say those are the three most. Let me add one more. You better have a good relationship with a banker that believes in what you're trying to develop. So those are, I think, the four most critical areas. Uh, in developing. But the, for number one, by far, is you better have your family support. Okay. I love it. The other thing we got done talking about was kind of the misconceptions of water in general. Uh, should you have a pitcher water filtration system that you could just buy from home? Give the listeners a little idea of what Colligan does in their process and why they should look at a big company like Colligan to buy filtered water from. Well, number one, all we do is treat water. We can take it from its very basic form and treat it to its strongest, what we call high quality water that we use for labs. So we do hospitals, we do labs, we do residential, we do commercial, we do industrial. We're all over the world. There's over 1,300 dealers around the country, over 600 in the U.S. All we do is water. We've been doing it since 1946 in the Tulsa area. That's all we do. We don't do coffee. We don't do janitorial supplies. We don't do anything else. All we do is water. So Mike, one thing that I want to dive a little bit deeper on is how do you manage and cultivate the big relations that you have uh, as a business owner? You mentioned big relations a little bit between your banker or your fi- finance or any other uh, component of large clients, how do you cultivate and manage those big relationships? It takes time. Uh, It takes time that you've proved yourself, that you're going to stay in the industry, you're going to stay in your business, that customers know that you're going to be around. So again, we go back to patience. Bankers have to learn to trust you like a good friend learns to trust you. Mm -hmm. Uh, Same with clients. They have to know you're going to be there, that you're going to take care of them. Uh, It just doesn't happen overnight. In my experience, I have never seen a super successful small business develop overnight. It usually is a five to seven year process. Well, Mike, I really appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, For the listeners out there, how can they uh, get in touch with you? They can call us or they can Google us. They can go onto our website, CulliganTulsa.com. They can check us out on Facebook, Culligan Tulsa. just they can look at us or find us. We're at 44, I-44 in Union. They can stop in and visit any time. We'll give them a tour of the facility. We do that with a lot of schools. We give the kids a tour of how we process water. Well, Mike, thanks for your time today. I really appreciate you coming in. Uh, Once again, this is the Shrimp Tank Tulsa. We uh, do our shows every Monday afternoon at 3 o'clock. To catch a replay of any of our shows, Search the search bar in iTunes for Shrimp Tank Tulsa or go to tulsa.shrimptankpodcast.com. Check us out on Facebook or Instagram at Shrimp Tank Tulsa. Uh, And everyone else, uh, have a great week and we'll see you next time.